Okay, now that the back is sat its flat, it's smooth all the way around here. What we can now do is take our back. We're now going to fit the back to, to the stick dulcimer. map. Now the way we do that is we make some mark index pins. We're going to drill a small hole in the back, uh, it's in the dead center, and, we'll, and up here as well. Now these two location pins are going to help us position the back on the instrument. What we're going to use is 1.7 millimeter, and the pins I will use are actually uh, made from toothpicks, uh, which are going to cut off the very small end and use a toothpick. Then we mark a corresponding hole on the on the signalsimer. This is also drilled out. Now with the bottom um, pin in place, we then use that to mark out where the, the top pin. Now we need to make sure that the walnut stripe is central. And then when we're happy that is so, we... Okay. We can then trim the pins just to slightly bigger. Okay, now we can carefully invert the mould. With the pins in place, we can mark where we need to cut the ribs. Now, if we get this right, um, I'm actually aiming for a flush fit with these. Uh, sometimes I let them in, sometimes I do them just a little bit away from the ribs, but in this case, I'm actually just doing them so it would just be a press fit. Um. Okay, now we're going to reassemble the mould. We'll put the sound hole insert in. Then we take our sound board. Okay, and now we. Two retaining bolts back in. Okay, 
check the kit. Now with the mould clamped in position, we have full access to all the soundboard. We can make sure that it's in, my, in the right place. When we're happy that it's in the right place, we can then insert the body back inside. Okay, we have 10 minutes of around about to, 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 um, to glue this and to clamp it, so there's no real rush. Um, we, just have, we just have to do this in a methodical way. Okay, once we've got the glue on, we're just going to make sure that it's spread over all the parts we want it to be spread. The advantage of doing it with the top open is that we have access to the inside of the instrument, which means we can make sure there's no too much glue run out before we start to assemble the thing. Okay. Um, the last thing I'm going to do is put another cramp on the neck, just to make sure that the neck is... Okay, we're going to leave that now for a couple of hours to dry. Once the glue is dried, we can then remove the cramps. Moved half of the clamps so that I can easily insert the, the back into, into, the, into the groove. Um, this one pin goes in here, and the other pin goes in here. And I can fill the registration. Okay, so when I'm pleased that I've got it, then I'm going to put the glue on and just glue it up. Be very careful not to get glue on the inside now because we are. There's no uh, way we can change any of the glue runs. Um, this is it. So we run the bead of glue on first, and then we'll go over it um, very carefully just to make sure. We, uh, we've got a couple of minutes. Um, oh, it's not too hot. Okay, now I'm just going to go over. Smooth my finger, make sure it's fine. Um, trying to get it on the clamps. Okay. Let's do a little bit of run there, just make sure it doesn't. Just make sure there's not too much of a. Okay, we're ready. One thing we must do is just put a tiny bit of glue just on the on the ribs there, just just to help things along a little bit. Okay. Okay. Okay, we'll just leave this for a couple of hours to dry again. And then we can take off all the clamps.